just start with that as like a, you know, whatever you call it. Very descriptive. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. So I have got a get ready with me video for y'all today. On this look right here is what it ended up coming out to look like. I like how it all kind of came together and I'm playing with a bunch of Essence products. So I have got all kinds of goodies in here. I have got an eyeshadow palette, um, like color changing products, powder, um, a primer and a mascara, just some fun things. Did I, I think that's pretty, oh, like an eyeshadow stick, just some fun stuff, and we're doing this look. So, if you're new here, my name is Leslie. Welcome. I love to do new at the drugstore videos, get ready with me, reviews, empties, favorites, just a lot of fun stuff here on my channel. So, if you're new, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button and stuck around for a while. I'd love to have you here on my channel. So, yeah, we are playing with Essence products doing this look right here so let's get to it okay so i've already got my skincare and my spf on this isn't new but i'm going to use the keep it covered long lasting foundation um i have two shades so i grabbed 50 ivory so hopefully this works and hopefully my bottle is still good it's been a bit since i've used this foundation but looking at it that looks pretty I feel like in the past I have not been a huge fan of this, but I feel like this is a pretty popular foundation, so maybe my opinion is different on it now. I like that. Just put on my brows. It does seem to have a little bit of a perfumey scent, but it's pretty subtle. Like, it doesn't seem super strong. Okay, I'm going to use some of the Essence Prime Like a Boss eyeshadow base. I'm going to set that with just a little bit of face powder. Okay, so I've got this palette to play with. This is the bloom baby bloom eye and face palette i think there were two different yeah this one is zero one make it bloom i think there were two different options so i'm gonna use first off the bronzer so i'm gonna start with the bronzer where is a brush let me start with that as like a you know whatever you call it very descriptive <laughs> crease shade blending shade whatever gonna kind of put it all over my lid and up into my crease. Totally professional here. So funny, this palette has a mirror, but I almost feel like I need to close one eye to be able to use it because it's so, it's like not even the full width of the palette, it's like that. I mean, it's nice that there's a mirror, but it's just a little like strange because it's such a long skinny mirror. It's working well as a shadow. So I do have this that I wanna use, the Blend In Line Eyeshadow Stick, long lasting in full of beans. <laughs> That's a funny name. Um, so I want to use that. I need to use some of these shadows. Like, I need to actually use the shadows as shadows. So, let's use, hmm, I'm going to use this shade right here. Mix with a little bit of the highlight, because I think that's going to be a little bit deep for what I usually like for a lid. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, yeah, I like that. I think that's pretty. And I, that's just like dry, no setting spray. I think that's just a pretty kind of everyday look, you know. I don't always want like crazy metallic lid. That's very pretty. I'm tempted to try it with a little bit of setting spray just to see. But I can tell I think it would, um, you know, it, that would just kick it up a notch, which would be beautiful. But I like this, I like the kind of more subtle. Now let's use this eyeshadow stick and I'm gonna take a little brush, I think, and blend it. This is from um, Essence of Beauty, it's, I've had this forever. It just says crease brush. Can you imagine? That would be the tiniest crease brush ever. I guess like very precise work, but I use it for smudging. Anyway, I don't even know if it's still around. It's super old. Ooh, very nice and creamy. That's beautiful. Does kind of diffuse, which is nice. I like this a lot. And the color of it is really pretty. It almost seems like it has it has a lot of kind of reddish undertones or something to it to me i feel like i see just kind of a i mean it's a very warm brown but almost like a little bit of a reddish tint which is beautiful i'm really excited about that i want more shades of this because this seems very nice i like the formula on it oh i forgot i also got this the essence eyeliner pen extra long lasting should we layer it this could be that could be bad let's let's not layer it let's just I'll just swatch it for you. Ooh, oh, that seems very nice. So we'll let that sit for a little bit and then I'll kind of like smudge on it and see what happens. Cause it says extra long lasting, 24 hour lasting. Yeah, so 
here's this. And it looks like, it's kind of like a bendier felt tip, but I like this kind of an applicator. Got these two, the Lash Princess Mascara Primer Extra Length and Volume. Look at this adorable packaging. And I love that they have like rubbery design. That is genius because it's cute but also it makes it easier to hold on to. So I like that. That is adorable and very functional. This is the Lash Without Limits Extra Lengthening and Voluming, Voluming, nope. Extra Lengthening and Volume Mascara. Wow, length. Let's look at the wand on this. That's what that looks like. I think mine is just like a little bit bent for whatever reason, but I don't think it's supposed to be like that. Seems good. Here is the primer. So let's start with this. I do not use primers very often. I used to. I used to be very consistent with a primer, but I don't. I go through phases, but I would say more often than not, I don't use a primer consistently. I probably should have looked. Usually you kind of want them to get a little bit tacky before you use them. So I'm gonna go one eye at a time which is weird. I don't normally do that. Okay, let's go in with this now. I just waited, I don't know, maybe 30 seconds to a minute or something. And let's see. So there's about one coat. I would say yes, good length. Um, length and separation, definitely more than volume. Let's go ahead and do the other eye without the primer. We may end up with very different looking lashes, but let's just see. Okay, so this side, I think I'm getting better volume and more of that fluttery look, which I like. So I think I prefer this mascara without the primer underneath. Oh yeah, I really like this on this eye. Ooh, yeah. I will say these are, this eye has like, my lashes are behaving better on this eye recently. So you know how that goes with our lashes. Oh, but this is building well on this side. Well. Yeah, but then it's going back to the kind of, you know, like, I don't know, almost kind of piecing my lashes together. I just like the look better on this side. I'm gonna just kind of keep building and show you the final. I'm overall impressed with both, but I definitely prefer it without. So I, I like this a lot. I'm impressed with this mascara. I pretty much always like Essence mascaras. Most of them that I try, especially the Lash Princess. The only thing I've noticed with those in the past is that they get up on my eyelid, but most mascaras do, or many, many do. So that's not that like, unheard of for me at all but i usually love the way that they look on the lashes so i love that and i probably just need to try this with other mascaras so let me know if you like this primer if you've tried it which mascaras do you like to pair it with so let's look at this liner it's been sitting here for a while and wow okay okay that's impressive it's not smudging wow Got some micellar water. Okay, with micellar water, it came off pretty easily. So take that for what it's worth. I'm gonna use some of the Essence Keep It Covered Concealer in the shade 40 Shell. Ooh, this might be too deep. I feel like the ones that, I had one other shade in there and it looked a little lighter, but I think they were, I think they're both too yellow, but we'll see, this, this is fine, it's okay. Get a little bit more of this in some spots. I want a little bit of coverage. Just adding a little bit of a pinky color corrector under my eyes just to kind of make that a little bit less yellow. Wow, I feel like I can totally see a difference. Can you see a difference? I brought in the other color with me. I didn't even notice it's alabaster. So that might have worked better. But actually, I mean, I like how that ended up coming out. I like how that looks. So let's set the face. So I'm gonna use this powder, the Keep It Covered Powder Long Wear. It says, no added fragrance, alcohol, or mineral oil, and vegan says, I got I got shade 10 fair. It says, silky lightweight powder texture for a smooth and natural finish, easily blendable and long lasting. Builds from medium to fuller coverage. Cool, okay, so this is what it looks like. I think this color will work for me. I'm gonna use this on my under eyes and then get a fluffier brush for the rest of my face. I feel like I like what I'm seeing from far away. It does look, wow, nice and silky and smooth. That is pretty. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's find a brush for the rest of my face. Let's get this giant one from BK Beauty, the 102 brush. Their brushes are so 
nice. So beautiful. I feel like I am looking quite pale right now. So I think, I think I need a slightly deeper color in something. <laughs> Camera cut me off, but I was saying, let's look at this powder up close. That is beautiful. That's very pretty. I think it's looking nice and smooth on fine lines and texture. Yeah, I I like this powder. That's beautiful. Let's use the bronzer in here. This was pretty pigmented, so I'm going to try to be a little bit more light-handed with this. Yep, that's that's got some pigment. That is really pretty. I like this. I'm just going to kind of dab it a little bit all over my face just to Add a little bit more color. Now blushes, I have too many options. I I have several options. Um, that's a lip product, but I think all three of these can be for the cheeks. So I have got the electric, uh, oh, ele I was like, what does it say? Electric Glow Color Changing Lip and Cheek Oil. So let's swatch this and see what happens. I may end up, oh, I just got on my pajama pants. So it is a quite liquidy oil. So just know that about it. It does have a strong, like strawberry scent to it. It smells good. It's not changing much on my hand yet, but let's see what that does. I have tried this on my lips once and it definitely did that color changing thing on my lips. This is the black Pink is the new black color changing blush. Look how fun this is. This is fun. Okay, so it's a cream and it looks kind of like a berry. So let's see what this does. There is that. This is just on my hands, so maybe it would do something different on my cheeks. I'm just trying to pick which one I wanna use. So I don't know. And then let's see, this is the, oh, this is a lip tint also. Are these both lip tint? Color Changing Lip Glow and Color Changing Lip Tint. Let's go with this one. Let's try this one. Now I'm just gonna get this on a small stipple brush and then tap it on and see what happens. Oh, it's starting to change. At first I was like, I don't see anything. But it is starting to change a little bit. My battery is also beeping at us, so it may cut me off and my hair is everywhere. My hair is everywhere. Does this have a scent or am I just... I can't tell. I think this might have a scent too. I can't tell. This is so strong. This one is so strong that I can't tell if I'm still smelling that. I'm moving my hand away with the swatch. I think this has a scent too. I think. Here is an update on the swatches. So this is color changing more now. This is pretty subtle there, but on my cheeks, I feel like now we're getting quite a bit more pigment to it. And I mean, but it's not super duper pigmented. It's definitely more subtle than I think other ones that I have tried. Other kind of, you know, that color changing kind of situation. It looks okay on my texture, but I had to apply quite a bit of it. So anytime I have to do that, that tends to kind of, you know, not look the best, especially on my textured cheek. On, let's see, on my other. See, I like it better on this one. So I think if you don't have as much texture, like this, I don't like it on my textured cheek, but on this one, I think it's fine. Okay, let's layer a little bit of this just for fun. I'm gonna kind of shake it a little bit and then do a couple dabs. Oh wow, that's like instantly changing. Work quickly, work quickly. Oh wow, okay, this definitely, whatever this does seems to do it more. <laughs> that's a really pretty pink, I like that color to it. It's just like a cute on me. It ends up kind of creating this cute pink color kind of going along the edges. That's cute. I like that. I think that's pretty. I'm going to layer it with a little bit of the blush from this palette just to kind of set it. Here's an update on the swatches. This one's still looking more intense than that one, but I, I like these, um, especially this one. I mean, other than it being a very liquidy oil, that that's cute. I like the look on the cheeks. And I like that I didn't have to blend it as much, which I think will help with kind of, you know, like on the texture kind of area. Okay, now let's use some of the highlight from this palette. The cheeks already have a little bit of a glow to them already. Just guess from the other products. Ooh, that's pretty. 
a little bit on the inner corners of my eye just for a little highlight there. Okay, and removing those swatches seems like this one rubbed off pretty easily, but the oil seems to have some staining to it. Okay, now last up for lips, which one? The pink is the new black color changing lip tint or the color changing lip glow? What is the difference? Oh, okay, this is what this looks like. Oh, it's okay, it's a balmy texture and I think it might have a scent too. Feels nice and hydrating. So there is that, I can tell it is changing. And then this, let's just shake it just to see. This seems more like a lip tint, okay. So let's look at this. Oh, starts out very purpley on me. It's definitely changing. It has more of a purpley glow to it for sure. Hmm, I don't know how that's gonna go with my eye look is the only thing. Oh, but it's becoming more pink. As it's there, it's becoming more pink, which still I don't know how that's gonna go with my eye look, but let's just use it. Let's use this one. I might top it with the other one. Oh wow, this is becoming red almost. It's a pretty liquidy formula. That is really pretty, but that is not the color I was expecting. It looks a lot more pinky purpley there on my lips and my lip color, which is kind of a natural like mauve almost color. It pulls a lot more raspberry red, but that's really pretty. It feels nice and hydrating on the lips. Let's apply some of the balm over the, and it's not a balm, whatever this is. Lip glow, let's apply a little bit of this. This feels nice and kind of, it feels like a balm. Okay, trying to remove these. The balm came off more easily. This one seems to have more staining. The, this one, whatever this is, the lip tint. Okay, so here is the finished look. I really like how this all came together. I'm impressed with several of these things. I mean, there's really nothing in this group that I like dislike. There's just some things that stand out more than others. So let's go through them quickly. I think the palette is beautiful, really cute, kind of fun, different packaging to it and everything seemed to blend nicely and work well. I like this a lot. Definitely want more shades in this. The powder seems beautiful. I really like how that is looking. Um, and I, I like it with the foundation too. I think this is really beautiful. Um, okay, the primer, I wanna try it with other things, but um, I don't love it with this mascara. I prefer it without, but I'll try it with other things and see what I think. I don't reach for primers a ton though. Like that's not kind of my go-to. I am impressed with this. I think this is beautiful. Really like the fluttery volume but the length with it it seems to build on itself nicely i'm impressed with this the eyeliner pen just from a quick swatch seems pretty good um i think this is okay but i definitely prefer this i like the oil better i like the color it creates i like that i don't have to apply as much so i prefer this and i have tried it on my lips and i like it on my lips too the balm seems nice if you want just kind of a lighter sort of look on the lips, but if you want more pigment, it seems like this gives more pigment. And I really like this end color that it ends up creating. I think this is beautiful. At least this is how it ends up kind of reacting on my lips. So I'm a big fan of this. Okay, so that wraps up this video. So hope that you really enjoyed it and hope it was helpful for you. Please hit a thumbs up if it was. If you did enjoy it, let me know down below what you think about these products. If you tried any of them, what are your thoughts and opinions on them? Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!